Hi everyone. Welcome to the second episode of How to be Perfect Plant Parents and we are super excited to welcome you all here. I'm your host Tanvi and we will be hosting this session with Gaurav who is also present as the plant boy dot in on Instagram. So just give me one second before we add So Gaurav will just be joining us in a short while and um, till then folks we, we really hope you all are doing well and hi Gaurav how hi, are you? Hi how are you? I'm good I'm good how are you? Uh, I'm doing good thank you so I'm not audible. And your plant parents your, your plants are also looking very pretty like I see thank them you. at the back thank and you. I love so to yeah, see them. Is... Yeah yeah that's that's great so I was just asking our audience how they are doing, how is their week and how their plant babies have been. And uh, also please feel free to uh, put it down in the comment section. In case you have any questions today, please feel free to write it here, right? We will not promise that we are going to answer all the questions here. But you know, later you can always hop into our DM and we can do more content around it. So yes. folks, Today's session is very special because we have with us Gaurav who is an amazing plant parent and I will request Gaurav to share a few things about himself and his green babies. Over Hi, to you Gaurav. Yeah. Hi guys. Yes. Uh, so yeah, I think today majorly we are discussing about the, um, uh, the self-watering plant system and um, uh, about the rotting plant rotting which we usually face and uh, the diseases other other diseases what usually we face so now the monsoon is here and i'm sure everybody is facing mini bugs issue um which is the most cause in the monsoon because of a lot of humidity okay so tell me which um, part you would like to cover first the self watering system or uh, the uh, the plant diseases the root rotting so yes Gaurav, so I was hoping uh, that we'll go on to both the things but uh, just before that we would love to share a few things about how your parenting journey started with the oh. plant and uh, you know what, what really interested you and uh, you know we keep on following your content it is so good you know and it brings a lot of value to the you know plant parenting community and uh, you know so it would really encourage us to know a few things about you and no. how is the journey like oh thank you so i think i missed that question before because there's too much of noise here around uh -huh. uh, no problem yeah. uh, so the thing is that i'm um, i'm into gardening from my childhood and my parents uh, back in pune they have a huge garden and in one of my recent stories i think uh, two months back i had said a story that uh, uh, you know, because my parents, they loved gardening so much that they, they built a house in such a way that, uh, uh, you know, every floor in the, uh, you know, in the uh, building has a sajja. So sajja is a, basically a kind of a place where you don't need to keep the pots, you can directly put the soil and you can plant. So there is no limitation or, uh, uh, so you can plant a lot of uh, plants there and all that. So, uh, yes, and uh, because of my parents from childhood, I have, uh, you know, uh, love and uh, you know, um, like interest in gardening and uh, I keep traveling uh, or, uh, you know, keep changing my city because of work and all that. So, uh, yes, it's not uh, e easy or it's not, um, you know, uh, uh, possible to make a huge garden like my parents have. So, uh, yeah, whatever the available places that I try to, uh, you know, make, uh, uh, you know, keep plants, uh, indoor plants and the urban gardening kind of stuff in small space. And I have, I have special love for orchids. So I have more than 50 orchids with me. Uh, so this is one of the dendrobium, which is actually blooming now. And uh, so I have more than 50 variety of orchids. And I have uh, air plants. So I have love for air plants. The reason I developed uh, love for air plants is because um, it's easy to carry. You don't have to pot them and all that. So this is one of the air plants which I have. So uh, I have around 27 air plants. Uh, so yes, uh, and that's how I mean. I love all kinds of plants, so mostly I try to keep each and every variety. And uh, that's all. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's really very good to kind of, you know, listen to your, uh, you know, the whole experience. And actually, I think it is a 
huge contributing factor you know when your parents are also interested in gardening mm-hmm. and you see them yeah. you know engaging with it because it's the same for me you know like i remember when i was a kid i did not actually understand the whole mm-hmm. concept of gardening and the value yeah. that it brings so i was a little kid and my mother would love gardening and we had like so many house plants and it felt that she would care for them than me yeah. she like i would feel that oh my god mummy always cares for the plants yeah. and not for me yeah. and you know it took like you know the whole growing process and i also started getting involved and yeah. loving you know the, the plants then yeah. i understood like what it is for a plant parent you know being a plant parent to to very yeah good. so so really like it it is like and also like for everybody who has joined us here in the session mm-hmm. we would like i think jointly say that gardening is a very good activity and you know also to encourage your kids or other people around you because you know you're gifting them like the gift of nature when you're like mm-hmm. encouraging somebody to gardening very so god if there is something very interesting that i caught upon while you were sharing about you which mm-hmm. is that you travel a lot right mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you know like when people start gardening so one of the major issues is the whole watering system of the plants True. because hamesha hi dar rehta hai ki zyada pani ho gaya kam pani ho gaya you know how like how to go about it and also when you're going on vacations or mm-hmm. you know or simply like people with long working hours you know mm-hmm. office mm-hmm. mein rehte so how do we set up this whole system where our you know plants are flourishing with the right amount of water and everything and also i'll quickly say hi to some of the guests who have joined us so we have manoj joining us who says hi hi manoj we also have vinay we have vanshika we have abhishek smita hi everyone we are really really excited to welcome you and we really hope that you enjoy the session so yes gaurav sure. over to hearing the gems from you ah uh, so yes uh, uh, i i do travel quite frequently and recently i'm traveling a lot between pune and bangalore and um, my partner is not very much into gardening uh, so yes i have to set up so it's not a permanent uh, setup which i have done for uh, watering but um, yes it's uh, usually there that you know either we have to give the responsibility to a neighbor or maybe a house help to water or the best way is to you know uh, do something which is kind of a self watering system so yes there are some pots which are available self watering pots in the market but i have never used them but i think even that works but apart from that the one which i usually do okay and uh, it's been years i'm doing it uh, is uh, you know just uh, uh, you know it's a self watering system i'll explain here i have some bottles here to explain how i do it uh, again now if you're traveling in monsoon uh, so the first thing i would like people to understand that our plant needs very much less water than we think okay so it's quite less what we think and uh, our plant do not like to sit in the water all uh, you know 24/7 or all 7 days uh, so uh, understand that the plants uh, the soil needs to get dry in between so the self watering system what you you do if if this is a small bottle it works for almost for 10 days i know a lot of people will not trust that you know this bottle will work for 10 days it will be enough for 10 days but yes it does uh, because as i said that our plant needs very less water compared to what we actually think okay so now this is a plastic bottle like which i have actually gathered few of these bottles uh, from a nearby uh, shop which was actually thrown in the garbage uh, garbage so uh, these bottles i have collected and these bottles i'm reusing it okay so again if anybody is uh, believes in uh, eco friendly thing and they don't want to use plastic bottles they can go for the glass bottles also okay glass bottles with the metal um, uh caps so it's it's very simple it's very easy you just have to take a bottle something like this okay this much of bottle is also enough for a small pot or a medium sized pot and you have to make a hole at the cap okay uh so there are very few things what we you need is so this is the cap you need to make a hole to it once you make a hole to it take a thread so this is a macrame thread which is a pure cotton okay so make sure it's a pure cotton thread uh, your bind and uh, not the nylon one and then just cut the thread uh, double the size of the bottle you are taking so if this is this much thread you need to cut okay so this much or else if you have a big bottle then the thread should go till the bottom just make sure that the thread is going till bottom and then you have enough thread to just circle and keep it in the pot and once you do that just put that thread in this uh, hole of the cap and just tie a knot so it gets locked here right 
and so it's it's very simple and after that you just put this uh, thread here and you lock this uh, bottle okay so once you do this then uh, you know just run this uh, thread below a tap water so it will get wet so the circulation starts happening and then i am visible yes so you can either keep it like this and just keep the thread in the pot and that should be enough or else or uh, another thing is you simply uh, make a hole to the cap lock it okay and push this part in the soil you can see this here right i mean is is it visible okay so you just push this in the soil okay and uh, and that should be enough for next 10 days so next 10 days or 15 days that should be enough so that is is that simple uh so this is what i do and uh, if anybody uh, you know again they don't want if they you guys don't want to use plastic bottles you can go for the glass bottles and uh, the bigger the bottle obviously it will long last for very long for this bigger pots and all that so these are only for the potted plants so this is a self potting system i am doing and uh, i was never uh, you know disappointed with this i like all my plants were doing fine i mean i remember there was a time when it was summer and i left uh, home for almost 15 to 20 days and uh, still uh, uh you know well, the plants were fine plants were doing fine it just that in case if you have plants which are kept in open in the sun uh, sometimes the plastic bottle might get you know so go for the glass bottle and yeah that's all okay i think this this is really important bit of information you know that you have shared with us today because it is like you know a bit hassling for plant parenting ki kahi na kahi bahut bar jana pad jata hai and you know like how to take care of your plants because itne acche se nurture kiya hai you have invested so much and you know this one thing like watering pe to pura plant ka system hi tika hua hai so it bahut worry hota hai and you know even on our platform on garden gram there are so many people from the community you know who are struggling with watering who are struggling with the fact ki you know the journey is very good hum plants laate hain it is flourishing nurture ho raha hai sab ho raha hai and that one time when we have to take a vacation or we have to go somewhere you know it's like the whole system collapses you know yes. because see neighbors ko you can always say theek hai but कभी कभी होता है कि नहीं हो पाता है कोऑर्डिनेट सो इन सारी चीजों में दिस दिस इज सुपर यूजफुल यू नो एंड आल्सो लाइक वी कीप ऑन हियरिंग नो आत्मनिर्भरता इज वेरी वेरी यू नो कूल सो विद दैट आल्सो आई थिंक दिस दिस इज रियली समथिंग व्हिच अ लॉट ऑफ अस कैन ट्राई आउट एंड वी कैन सेव आवर प्लांट्स सो गॉड ऑफ लाइक we have been speaking about the whole watering system and everything so you know there is also something that is very difficult for uh, people who are taking up gardening or even for people who have been you know experienced in the field of gardening wo hota hai ki jab plants ko diseases you know like th- those early symptoms root rotting ye especially with root rotting it is not visible to the naked eyes you know but then right. you just see ki पत्ते येलो हो रहे हैं और जब विदरिंग अवे एंड इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू आइडेंटिफाई की वॉट इज हैिंग विद योर बेबी आउट देर राइट सो यू नो वी वुड लव टू काइंड ऑफ यू नो आस्क अबाउट इट विथ यू की वॉट कैन वी डू इन सच सिचुएशन हाउ कैन वी आइडेंटिफाई दी अर्ली साइंस बिकॉज बहुत बार ऐसा होता है कि बात इतनी आगे निकल जाती है कि बचाना मुश्किल हो जाता है यू नो जैसे हम बोलते हैं कि अगर अर्ली सिम्टम्स पता चलते तो ट्रीटमेंट ईजी होता है so similarly like what can we do for yes. plants yes so uh, so what is root rot basically root rot is nothing but um, a disease which cause which is caused because of the fungus okay so there are different type of funguses which causes the root rotting okay uh, now uh, the best way is like so the prevention is always better than cure so uh, it's the the first thing you need to know as i as i this said this before that uh, you know you need to know that your plant does not need water every day okay especially when it comes to the potted plants so if the plant is in the ground okay even if there is excess water if there is excess rain uh, the earth has capacity to you know take that excess water and so the soil gets dry soon but when it comes to potted plants uh, most of the plants uh, you know face this root rot because of overwatering 
it's only because of over watering so understand the soil uh, needs to get dry in between the watering that's very important okay the very important to know if you want to avoid root rotting uh, do not water your plant until you see that the soil is getting uh, you know soil is dry okay now the early signs where you get to know that uh, the plant is having some kind of uh, root rot so what happens when the root uh, root rotting happens uh, the roots are not able to uh, you know um, absorb the moisture or the nutrients from the soil because and that that is stopped that process is stopped so now the plant is only surviving uh, in the moisture from the you know uh, the air or you know if we mist or you know we spray the water and all that or if the, but uh, it will not survive it will not survive it majorly survives on the root because of the root right so that process is not happening so because of that the leaves will start uh, you know uh, fading away the color so i'll not say the yellow color but the, if it's a we know the original color of particular plant so if the leaves are getting little colorless so that is the first sign another sign is if it's a flowering plant if it's a flowering plant the buds will wilt okay the bud, buds will never uh, bloom because the nutrient which it is supposed to get will not get it so now this is it happens a lot of time with the orchids also because the orchids usually uh, orchids or you know most of the plants we, even the, a very regular plant called hibiscus uh, you know the the buds will start wilting so if the bud starts wilting so you understand that you are over watering it and because of that the root rot has happened and because of that it's wilting so first is uh, the leaves will start uh, the color will start fading on the leaves another thing is that the buds will start wilting it's a flowering plant and uh, if you check the root how you know that it's root rot the roots will be little mushy or soft it won't be firm and uh, green so uh, that is uh, so you can just take out the plant in case if you see all these uh, things in the plant then you just take out the plant and see if the roots are healthy if the roots are like quite firm and uh, green then okay it's a healthy plant if you find it's mushy then it's a cause of uh, and then the fungus which is there the root uh, rotting fungus is there that may be there in that soil so it's very important to uh, change the potting mix or uh, the soil if because if that might continue for the other plants if you just pot it in the same plant you will have to change the soil so that's important okay now yeah yes sir right so um, yeah again like as i have mentioned like both the topics that we have chose you know to speak mm -hmm. up about yes. today is are topics which can be like you know diy like do it yourself yeah. hack sort of thing jaise yeah. gardening mein jab ye cheezon se mushkil hota hai na to you know these are very simple things but they can make your gardening experience bahut hi easy aur aaram se and at garden gram we are really focused on making gardening a hassle free experience so we really believe in you know empowering our community with bringing the knowledge that is required to be you know good plant parents and also you know helping them develop the skills getting people like you we also had plant mom to help pratisha then you know there are other people who have been you know a part of our tribe and we are so you know we are so grateful to all of you who come here who share your experiences because it really adds value to the people who are out here you know a lot of us believe ki yaar hamare we have no green thumb you know so At gardening, I'm saying, ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है, ऐसा नहीं है कि you can't garden or whatever. Gardening is fairly simple. Like yes. we understand the you know intricacies of gardening, but we would love to add on to the experience that you all are having. And okay. not only that, we also you know try to bring everything that you require for gardening under one roof. You can just log into our platforms and you can order anything that you need. Be it plants, be it pots, be it soil, be it mm. gardening tools weed pots so you know really we we are doing our best you know to make it a wholesome experience for you every day and we would love to hear from you like what is it that you want more what is it that you're lacking i would like to interrupt you here so yes yeah. i i was about to come to uh, the thing that um, uh, you know usually uh, the root rotting happens because the soil is not well drained okay so uh, this one the soil which you guys have so guys okay so all the uh people who have joined this uh, you know live chat i would like to tell you that okay this is not something which i am advertising for garden gram but uh, this is a soil which i have used and i have checked the soil so it's a very well drained soil uh, the content they have uh, 
uh, you know, put here at the back of this uh, label. So you know what all other things are. So it's completely organic. There are no chemicals in this. So it's very important if you want to save your plants from root rotting. It's very important to have a, a potting mix which is well drained. Okay. So well drained potting mix is the first thing you need to make sure. A lot of time happens that when you buy plants uh, from nursery. Uh, the clay soil is there. You, clay soil is used, or the red soil is used, and there is no nothing else. They put it because for them it's just to you know sell the plants, and you know uh, so for them whatever the easy or the cheapest soil is that they use it. But it's important for you to um, uh, you know change the soil, uh, you know repot your plants and put it in the right uh, potting mixture. And I think this goes for uh, a lot of plants. I mean this can go for your succulents. It will go for your uh, Aroids and uh, other flowering plants also. So it's a good uh, uh, potting mix. I, I think I, I am sure you guys must be having bigger packets also for yes, people absolutely. Who, yeah, people who have uh, you know bigger gardens who need more. So yeah, guys, do do try this. Uh, I'm going to try this. I did open it because I. Uh, but the content what they have mentioned here is really amazing. This is a really good ratio. So yes, um, well drained soil. Okay. Thank you yeah. so sorry, much. Sorry, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Yeah. Huh. yeah, so, so just like you know, I was just discussing like you know how, just a parenting may hota hai na. The whole community comes together. They say that it takes a village to raise a kid. So yeah. similarly, like we believe that it takes the whole community to raise like you know happy and healthy plants. Yes. So you know, like there are so many people in the whole gardening tribe. As I was mentioning, there is Gaurav. Please. Check out his handle. We have Pratisha, Plant Mom Twelve, as he mentioned. Then we have Belief in Me, and you know there are so many people in this tribe who are there, who are sharing their experiences, their knowledge base, and you know it would also be good if you guys, you know, come aage and you know have a two-way interaction with us, with them, and just share like वो जो छोटी-छोटी चीजें होती हैं ना that you are struggling with. You know this will also inform us कि what is relevant for you all. Right. you know as if we all speak from our experience and we you know try and add value to the community but when we hear from you all it it means a lot so this is also like requesting and urging you all that please come forward and also share about the whole joy of gardening and the wisdom of gardening with even one friend you know like if you share it the whole community will grow and True. the way how we are struggling with saving nature i think we all can do this bit you know so it's like wo bolte na har individual se change shuru hota hai so mm -hmm. taking up such creative you know recreational activities is going to be very helpful for us yeah. right it's it's kind of gardening is and actually it's a like really nice hobby and i think in this particular last one and a half year or two year Uh, especially in the uh, the covid thing and all that uh, i think gardening had helped a lot of people uh, not to get in depression because uh, you know um, you know nurturing a plant and sitting and you know uh, i i myself actually i was not on social media for gardening i mean i had garden from from my childhood but i myself made this uh, profile um, in the lockdown okay uh, and i you know that's how i mean when you share Little bit with each other and all that, and now the plant community or the group is so big here, like across India or uh, you know. So we have made friends and all that. So yes, I mean, and you guys are doing a like really great job, like uh, garden ground. You guys are doing yeah. really great job. You're making things easy, like the potting mix. As I said, it's a very uh, important thing. But uh, uh, when you you know, a lot of people and they don't have time. A lot of people who Action. don't have time yeah. for them, it's easy. You just open the packet and just you know use it and. Uh, That's Thank you so much for your kind words, Gaurav. It's it is like you know improvising and learning every day for us. And again, like I can't mention it enough that we are really thankful for people like you, you know, who are supporting us in this journey. So that really means a lot. So uh, with this, we will come to an end to the session, guys. And uh, yeah. yes, Gaurav, would nice. you like? No, I think Sorry. we were supposed to cover one more uh, uh, topic about the the diseases, the plant early diseases or something. Yes, it's, absolutely. It has time, absolutely. Uh, I think yeah, because um, yeah, and I would like to actually, I would like to uh, tell this to people that because monsoon is here and everywhere you know it's raining and there is no sun because there's no enough sun, so most of you will be facing mealybugs issue. Okay, 
and belly bugs is something it's like uh, you know uh, really killing the plants and you know in no time you just see that plant is dying i have one leaf here i had with this really beautiful fern and i'm just bringing it a little closer you can see the belly bug here and yeah. you can see what it has caused to the leaf right so um, uh, about so i i follow organic gardening uh so it's it's quite uh, if you see a mini bug okay just go ahead with any uh, if so i usually use dishwash but in case if you have, don't have a dishwash liquid if you don't want to be because again dishwash liquid is also has a little bit of chemical so if you want to be completely without uh, chemical and complete organic just go for any uh, you know organic shampoo or something like that or hair 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 wash shampoo or something just take two three drops put it in the water and just spray it uh because this is a major issue what we all face and a lot of time i mean i uh, like my followers they message me that you know they have stopped uh, you know uh, keeping plants and all that because of mealy bugs and doesn't matter how much they do uh, what are the you know liquids they use and all that because but still uh, you know oh, uh, uh, they yeah. Yeah. so it's easy yeah and uh, give part to your uh, plants once in a while once in a week so you know if there is any impurities or any uh, you know the Uh, things are there, and um, uh, you know it will get washed off. Apart from that, the only thing if you want to save your plants from root rotting or any uh, you know diseases, just make sure that you're watering your plants when it needs water. Uh, so uh, yeah, and that that's the only uh, thing. Do we uh, healthy water? Yes, yes. Uh, Leaf oil, she's saying healthy water. Yeah, definitely healthy water also helps. Healthy water helps uh, to. uh cinnamon powder uh yes cinnamon powder works when you have to put it in the soil okay if you put it in the soil cinnamon powder does work uh if you see root rotting or if you see ants also in your pot uh put cinnamon powder uh that will also help cinnamon you can soak cinnamon and you can mix that cinnamon water on the plants that will also help uh, get rid of uh, any kind of uh, diseases or this fungus or Milly bugs or infection. Yeah. Do we have any questions, uh, Tanvi? Uh, I think from the people. Yeah. If anybody has any questions here, you can put it. आप अपने सवाल यहाँ पर भी लिख सकते हो जिस जिसे गौरव ने बहुत ही अच्छे से अभी दो सवाल उसके यहाँ पे जवाब दिए. So अगर आपके पास भी तो आप डाल सकते हो यहाँ पर. And uh, actually, I think Adil is Greeny Shafer has joined us. Yeah. Uh, sorry. The greenish shaper has joined us, Aditi. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's it's actually very very nice to see all the people coming here, you know, and just waving around, and it's really good to see everyone. So, and in fact, actually, one of the major questions that keeps on coming, you know, is about mealy bugs. Because it's very yeah. uh, common to have mealy bugs ka problem. Hona. And mm. it is infectious. So, they say that one plant to another plant has a lot of chances of getting it. True. True. Yes, so that's that's important. And about the honey, um, no, so honey, uh, okay, so it's from Mohit Agarwal. Okay, so Mohit, uh, honey is actually known as a rootening agent. It's a natural rootening agent. Okay, so when you put honey and uh, uh, you know cinnamon at the at the bottom of the uh, you know any cutting or something, uh, it it helps for rootening. Okay, so it will not be. Helping as a you know agent to remove any mealy bugs or something like that. In fact, honey might um, you know attract more uh, ants. Uh, how do we know that our plants lack moisture? Micro. Micro. Yeah. Okay. So again, as as I told you that we know that uh, certain plants with the the original color of it, right? So when you start seeing that you know the color of the leaf is fading, or you know um, the the leaves are wilting. or even see see here i would like to show you this one uh, this leaf okay so this leaf is uh, this is kind of in a semi uh, semi shed it's not like something in a harsh light or something like that which is still happening because this pot was quite ignored when i was not here for a month so um, yes and uh, nutrients are uh, important okay the, the way we take care of the skin and everything uh, you know it's it's important that regular nutrients should be given and these are all homemade fertilizers what you can give or the compost and all that. i'm sure garden gram must be having a compost also so compost is something best if people don't have time to uh, make uh, uh, you know the fertilizers at home to provide that nutrients 
uh, so we have it's also available and it is also like one of the ingredients also in a lot of our potting yeah. mixes you well. have uh, in this also i think yeah, yeah. and yeah. you do have yeah. a seaweed also so the guys this in this potting mix there is seaweed fertilizer too which is really good um okay so can we I, I, i'm not able to read the question narish orchids basically fertilizer for the blooms okay for orchids as i said that i go for organic um, gardening i do not use any chemicals so for orchid so this is a dendrobium orchid so for orchid i usually go for garlic garlic water so garlic water helps my orchid bloom i soak garlic cloves crushed garlic cloves in normal water for 24 hours after 24 hours i strain it i mist it and the remaining water i pour it in the pot okay and also sometime i put banana banana leaf uh, sorry banana peel fertilizer so there are basic three to four fertilizer which are really good for your plants for flowering all the flowering plants and the foliage plants too one is onion peel you soak onion peel or banana peel or garlic tea, uh, garlic peels or garlic cloves for 24 hours and mist that water or just put it in the pot and you will see a lot of blooms on your plants trust me just do this once in a week it's not necessary that uh, every week you need to put every like uh, all the fertilizers but either one and uh, definitely seaweed also seaweed is a really good fertilizer so for uh, orchids you can go for seaweed fertilizer also uh, i'm sure gardening uh, you guys have seaweed fertilizer uh, we don't have it available separately for now but this is going to be like gardening mix we do have that yeah, yeah. okay uh is it important to water the plants till we see water draining out of the pot uh yes it is okay so it is important that when you put the uh, water it should come from uh, you know the the holes because you know that the whole pot is wet the whole soil is wet but once you do that do not again water until you see that the soil is dry so now you cannot Uh, you don't know whether the complete soil is dry or not but uh, there are two things either if the top layer is dry just wait for one more day and then water or else just take a toothpick put a toothpick in the pot and then check if it comes wet the way we check for cakes right if the cake batter sticks we said that the cake is not wet similar way if the soil sticks to the toothpick understand it's wet but again if you have a lot of plants i mean i personally don't have that much of time to put the toothpick and um, just water the plants uh, you know when you see the top soil is dry then water it mm, that's all why do we have green layer on the top of the soil because you're not letting the soil dry so that's why the green layer is coming and that is again another reason that uh, fungus or you know this things happen so that is happening also when you have a soil like uh, take a sharp uh, you know uh, object and always keep you know pinching the soil that is important Okay, pinching the soil is very important. Uh, so once in a while, do that. That is important. Yes, moisture meter do uh, help, but again, uh, it's uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, do it do help. I don't have any moisture meter because now I'm quite thorough with watering part. But um, <laughs> <laughs> so, we yes, also yes, but it does, like but it does help. Yeah, it does help. Yeah. Yeah, we also hope to reach that point. Yeah, God of like you know where we also don't need moisture meters, and we are like, I'm be plant ninjas, eh? You know. So uh, uh, thank you so much, like for you. answering these questions, thank and you were just so patient with them, and like a pro, like acha ye wala. Okay, guys, this this has happened with me. This is what you do, you know, to kind of overcome the situation. So so it's really <laughs> good to see you working here thank on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So uh, thank you thank you Tanvi for giving me opportunity to come on your you know platform and we are thankful to you Gaurav like for you know coming on our thank platform you. and making it not only informative but also super fun you yeah. know like as you were like about to wrap you like no 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 you know like th there are more important stuff that people yeah. need to know <laughs> and actually also Tanvi I think we should uh, tell people that uh, people who are uh, you know so i do have pets at, that's another reason i'm not doing chemical gardening uh, i'm doing more of uh, you know organic gardening and uh, garden yeah. ram and uh, i'm we are coming back to you guys with pet friendly uh, plants there are a lot of misconceptions and all that and i would like to bring lily and juno to say hi to everyone here so juno is here lily is not here but juno is here so let's say hi so all the people who have pets all the people who have pets so will be gardening gram and i'm coming soon uh you know with the pet friendly yes. gardening yes 
absolutely you know actually har din somebody or the other asks us you know ki pet parenting and plant parenting how do we you know get to sink in this one true 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 so yes. we are super excited for that video to come and okay i'm getting very distracted looking at her right now <laughs> so yeah. there is one last question here i think uh, is it important to water okay now uh, what should we do the amount of onion peel water so be- because it's uh, it's kind of organic okay so it's not going to cause any kind of side effects or even if you use it with lexus but i'll say that um, once in 10 days or 15 days you can put uh, the uh, fertilizer one fertilizer at a time and that should be uh, uh, you know uh, enough yeah and doesn't really matter even if it goes excess it doesn't really matter because it's a liquid fertilizer so when you water next time the excess one actually drains out so yeah that's, that's fine. yeah actually that's the whole beauty of it you know ki it's yeah. not like ki aap ye sari cheezon se bahut nuksan wagaira kar sakte ho so it's always like encourage like you know to go for these yes. hacks and you know tips that really help your plants true, true. so yeah i mean thank you so much for this thank and for nice so all the pet parents here who also want to be like plant parents and are already plant parents please do wait for that video and also after you see like the whole content around it please head over to uh, gorov's handle as well let him know Thank what you feel about it and yes. yeah keep on sharing what you also want us to talk about so with this we will come to an end and you, is there any message that you would like to share with uh, plant parents sorry I... is there any message that you would like to give out to plants yes do not overwater your plants that's the only thing which i, I would like to tell because i as i said that you know i get a lot of queries so this is the only thing i would like to tell do not over water your plants it will save your plant from lot of diseases in case if you don't know how how much to water just go for a very good potting mix again i'm telling you that i'm not advertising for garden gram like this but the content what they have is is a well, very well drained uh, potting mix so just go for it so even if you water ex- if you put lot of excess water it drains out so you don't have to worry it dries out so yeah so that's that's yes, only guys. the message that so, has different <laughs> yeah. yeah so keep <laughs> at it guys you know feel the gardening experience and you're going to enjoy it like don't don't have so many of concerns and everything just go with the flow okay. that is all like we both will like tell you and yeah we we hope to catch you all very soon and gorav we are looking to a bright future and yeah thank you thank you tanvi i wish you the same Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Have a great weekend guys. Bye.